The new Filmora is out and everybody is trying every version of it and I figured I'd take a second to answer a few of the questions that a lot of the community have been asking me. Let's get to it. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be part of the conversation. One question that a lot of people have been asking is do I need a new license for Filmora 9? No you don't. If you have a license for Filmora 8, it applies to version 9 and you are all set to go. Another big question I get is where is the render button? There is no render button in Filmora 9. It uses what they call proxies, which is smaller, more manageable video bytes while it is editing and then uses the larger files when it exports. But very good news. Filmora announced that they are going to be introducing the render feature back into Filmora 9 in one of the upcoming updates, so keep your eye out for that. What happened to the split screen? There is no current split screen. That may be another feature that shows up in another update, but for right now, if you click on your video files up in the preview window, you can resize those and then adjust them accordingly to create your own split screen layout. Kung Fu Junkie asked, where is the auto ripple? Filmora 8 used to do that automatically. Well, in Filmora 9, if you right click on your video footage, you'll have a drop down menu that gives you the ability to delete or ripple delete, which gives you both functions now. Bixby Girl D asked, do you know where the power tool is so I can blur something on a picture or video? The power tool functions have moved a little bit. They are up in the effects menu. Click on your video clip, then click on effects, and in the drop down menu on the left, you'll see utility. Click on that, and that will give you the options from the power tool that you were used to. The blur or pixelation features are under mosaic. Septic ZZZ said, I don't think his PC can handle Minecraft. Who's playing Minecraft anymore? V Worldwide asked me, hey Daniel, I'm using Filmora 9. However, the problem I'm having is I'm trying to put the title like in Filmora 8, but it's appearing in the background for some reason. What am I doing wrong? This is really simple. Filmora 9 works in layers, unlike Filmora 8. In the old Filmora 8, you drag things down and the titles would appear below your video footage track. In Filmora 9, anything near the top appears in the front of your video export. So just drag your title down and put it in the track above the footage you want it to appear on. Craig Thurman pointed out that he hadn't seen my Filmora 8 screen recorder video. He actually had purchased a screen recorder from Filmora, not realizing that you could actually record the screen via Filmora 9. Well, Filmora 8 and Filmora 9 both have that feature. I'll put the link to my Filmora screen recorder right up here. To find it, just look to the right of your import dropdown and you'll see record. You can click on that and you can record your screen. And if you use the dropdown menu from screen recorder, you can also record your webcam as well if you're using Filmora for capturing something like your gaming streams and you want your face to be in the corner as well. If this is your first time to the channel, I'm always available for questions down in the comments section. So pop down there after we're done and fire away. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and keep the questions coming. Peace.